okay guys so now I'm gonna go over the complete parts list um, that I use for my drum uh, very first is the SK450 quad copper frame second is the LD power 960 kilovolt motor I initially had the multi star 920 kilovolt motors uh, they were were giving me problems so I changed them to LD power 960 third is the uh, Turnigy multi star 30 amp ESC uh, so that's a, that's a speed controller that I'm using um, you can use any other 30 amp or maybe even 25 amp ESC uh, then again I have uh, two clockwise and two counterclockwise 9 by 4.3 prop uh, uh, so um, the next one I have is uh, the MPU 6050 6 degree of freedom gyroscope then you need a transmitter uh, pretty straightforward uh, the receiver with it so that that again is uh, very straightforward um, for your flight controller I'm again this whole video series is regarding the Arduino uh, quadcopter so you know I'm using Arduino Uno microcontroller jumper cables um, you know very basic item I have some LEDs, diodes and resistors that I'm using. Again, you can use this if you really want to. You know, they're not essential uh, for the working of this, um, but they are, they are, they, I have them for, um, you know, status indication, you know, if the battery goes down or stuff like that. So that's why I'm using the LEDs and the resistors. The only thing I will mention is that the diode that I'm using has a 0 0.6 volt voltage drop. Um, and what that means is that you know say you have an X amount of voltage going through the diode uh, you know from the output from the output voltage from that diode is going to be X minus 0.6 volts and that is really good because I'm using my battery to uh, power up my Arduino and my LiPo battery is uh, 3 cells so that's uh, and to about 12.6 volt maximum so when it's fully charged and I'm using that battery for uh, powering up you know um, uh, essentially I'm giving 12 volts to the Arduino controller and that's good because that's sort of the range I think the range for Arduino is 7 to 20 volt maximum maximum uh, but I mean I think it's 7 to 13 volts that you could use to power it up so that's why I'm using 12 volts. That that works out very well for me. Uh, I have some XT60 male and female connectors. Again, uh, really, you know, you, you don't really need those connectors. You know, you can easily solder the wires if you want to. This was my very first drone. I didn't want it to be, you know, I wanted to be more plug and play sort of thing. So that's why I'm using these male and female connectors. Soldering equipment, tools, you know, tools like your screwdrivers, wire cutters, stuff like that. And of course, a, a battery. Uh, you know, the one that I'm using is a three-cell, 3300 milliampere lipo battery. Uh, should give me, you know, with the with the nine by 4.3 prop size, should roughly give me about uh, about you know, I would say maybe 15 to 18 minutes of flight time. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, so. These are all the you know the parts that you would need to build an Arduino quadcopter from scratch. So thank you for watching this video, guys. In the next video, I'll show you the wiring connection um, that will detail how I connected each and every part of the quadcopter. So see you in my next video.